Hello, I'm Jay. I'm the director of this Lecole McLaren film shoot and I work with Squire. And the idea behind it really was getting these two brands with very like technical philosophies, kind of embodying that in one very fast 30 second film. So a lot of performance, a lot of technology, a lot of speed, all in one very sleek package. And we thought the best way of really embodying that is creating a world for it that, that is sort of technically impossible. We couldn't really do that in the real world because you can't find several mile long black tunnels with perfect light fixtures you know, at regular intervals that we can shoot down, close down and kind of use to any expense. So we decided to do it all virtually. So my name is James McCroft, I'm the Director of Photography. We've designed a 3D virtual wind tunnel for our cyclists to be within. The biggest challenge, I think, is uh, creating a sense of space within the environment, so to really ground our cyclists within the space, to make him look like he's really there. My name's Ben Fender. Uh, I'm the executive producer at uh, Build Studios and we are the company that is providing the technology and the equipment for virtual production stage that we are filming on today. Virtual production is a, a filming technique where we create virtual environments using game engine technology and we then project that onto LED screens. We are actually creating reflections and lighting using the environment itself. We get a much more realistic virtual environment and much more realistic sort of composite of actors within that environment. Uh, my name is Jamie Sunter and I'm technical project manager at Build Studios. Today I'm looking after the sort of virtual production side of this commercial. So the configuration screen is actually quite unique to this scene. So we've got two large walls sitting actually into the surface of the stage. What that allows us to do is get real-time reflections from the content onto the helmet and onto the bike itself. And using camera tracking, in this case using Mosis, um, allows us to get really accurate perspective inside the world. Mosis has a system called Star Tracker, which you place on top of the camera. Um, in the roof, we have a net grid structure that's got what we call stars on top of it. When the camera sees the stars in the roof, it then maps out where it is in the 3D space um, and then gives the tracking data back to Unreal to then apply to the frustrum and the camera itself. Whenever you move the camera around, the frustrum on the LED will move as well. So if you pan to the right, for example, you'll see the right-hand side of your 3D environment on the LED in perspective. So wherever you are in the space, imagine similar to VR, put it on your head, you move around the space, you see all around you. We're doing that exact same thing with camera, um, camera tracking and in-camera effects. I believe it is revolutionising filmmaking as a whole because it allows for really quick turnarounds, really quick changes on site. No need for pre-rendered content to be able to render that all up again to shoot again. It's very dynamic, very fresh, all real-time rendered, so we can change anything we want in the scene um, with a click of a button. <laughs> <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs>